Well, that was dumb. Why did I run in here? Don't find me. Don't find me. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we are checking out Viloma, an indie horror game available over on Steam and Itch.io. I have a link to both of those sites in the description box down below if you want to check out on either, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter if you'd like to check those out. Go ahead and click on Start Game. I want to thank the developer for giving me access to this game. They provided me a key through uh, one of the Let's Play subreddits. Is this Silent Hill? Every time I see fog, I think that. Eh, it looks more beachy. There was a lake in Silent Hill, but I don't think there was an actual beach. And it looks like we're washing up on shore. Okay. Shit, I must have fallen asleep. What a strange dream. I wonder what it could mean. Hey, how's it going? Do you always rest like a model from a catalog in the 1990s? Sal's Pizza! Hey, sweep the dirt. I need a broom to start sweeping. Oh. Well, I mean, technically we weren't told to do this, but I'm. What the, f what the hell are you doing? Yeah, don't slip on that dirt, buddy. Oh, found a key. Manager's key. Well, we'll go ahead and steal that, I guess. Throw out, throw out some old cans. Cool. Don't. Jesus! Can you stop, Drew? Jeez, I'm trying to do my job here. Uh, oh, pick up trash. Wait, are you, Drew, are you okay? Are you Blair Witching me right now? Open the door, get on the floor. Uh, throw the trash out into this dumpster. Yep. We're good. I'll, I haven't even gotten in this game and already clean it. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I did the extra clean today. Menu. Honestly, our pizza tastes like crap. I'm kind of feeling pizza now that I'm playing this game, even though they do say the pizza tastes like crap. To-do list. There you go. Guys, do your fucking job. Every morning I come back to shit on the floor. How does it even get there? Manager. Clean the bathroom and toilets. Throw the trash out. Clean up the food in the kitchen. Sweep the floor. Deliver any late orders. Oh, I already did two of those, so... We are good to go. I can pick up the broom. I hope this isn't like real time sweeping. No, it's not. I just gotta click and it's gone. Cool. Should I talk to Drew? He seems lonely. He's bored. I wanna talk to Drew before I clean the bathroom up. The boss is out, so you're gonna be cleaning up tonight. What? I cleaned up for the past four nights. Sure, but you owe me one for another night, remember? Fuck. Wait, so we cleaned up the last four nights? And we... What? If we cleaned up the last four nights, then why did... Oh, oh, damn it, there's more... There's more, hopefully, dirt in the bathroom. There we go. That's all of it. Put the broom back. This is whatever one wanted, right? They wanted that real-time... Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God, why? Go ahead and plunge... It literally said feces. Great, thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for sharing that information. Oh, come on. How do we... It's hard to f click on it. Oh, there we go. That's everything. Put the plunger back. We're done. Got all my stuff done. I got the manager's key. I'm gonna go in there. I need the manager's key. I have that. Uh, F to equip. There you go. Okay, I get it. Not bad. Pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, pizza time. A picture of the manager's son. Okay, I got an achievement called the manager's son. Wow. Great, so glad I came in here. Alright. Whoa, gee, Drew, calm down. Boss is, uh, we know that. Yep, we did this already, we talked. Okay, calm down. Uh, is there anything I missed in here then? I don't think so. Do your uh, job. Clean the bathroom toilets. Done. Throw the trash out. Done. Clean up the food in the kitchen. Done. Sweep the floor. Deliver any late orders. Gotcha. Oh man, I sure love non cuppery music. I know, it's great. Any late orders. Okay. I mean, there's two pizzas just sitting here. And Sal says, the pizza is not free. So, why don't I just deliver those pizzas? Yep. An order just came through about five miles out of town. You wanna go? You wanna, you wanna go? You wanna go? 
Not really. Well, too bad. You're going anyway. It's by the old Miller farm. I thought that place was abandoned. Abandoned. Obviously not. You better be going, otherwise you're going to be late. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Typical Drew. Maybe we should, maybe we should, maybe we should throw down with Drew. I mean, he, he looks kind of buff. But also, he looks like he's a model, the way he stands. He's got like that, that, that tilted hip. So, he probably doesn't actually want to fight. He might, he might break his face, and... Really hard to make model money if you uh, have a broken face. I'm sure someone could do it. Oh, it sounds like we were in a car crash or something. My car. Here in my car. Damn, my tire's blown out. I have to walk on foot. I should grab my flashlight. It's around here somewhere. It's literally on the hood of the car for some reason. Use inventory by hit tab. Yeah, we already did that to get to the manager, but... F. Okay, F is to use the flashlight. Yep. Are we carrying the pizza on our back? How are we doing this? I'm gonna be honest, when I carry a pizza, I usually use two hands, but... Sure. Let's see what my local pizza shop has on a, a Sunday special. And perhaps order myself a pizza. Because so my wife is currently out of town for a training session. She won't be back until Thursday. And honestly, pizza will last me like two or three days, so it's not bad. I am going to the, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow though, so uh, while I'm out and about, I'm figuring I'm going to get some uh, poke bros. Because they have a really good uh, sriracha aioli that I like. So I get that drizzled on top of um, usually some buffalo chicken, extra meat. Is this just like, what is it, what's with this? Like, these like little sh did someone build like little sheds and then demolish them and then also plant trees around them? Or in them? Or maybe they built the sheds and then the trees grew through. It's just very, it's very dark here. Hard to see much of anything. Cool. That's a dead end. Rad. Can I go this way? Uh, just, oh, maybe I am supposed to go down this little narrow corridor here. I'm going to be honest, this part is not adding much of anything to this game, I feel. It's just a dark, somewhat spooky area. It's not really... Oh, I found a fence. Okay, fences are good. Fences are probably... Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a green silo. Hey! Okay. Oh, it's two... It's two green... Oh, no. It's a green silo and a hill. My my knowledge of green silos is very limited. Uh, pretty much just... The jigsaw. There was a, a cool death trap with a, a green silo. Oh, vault. That's a... Gonna, gonna be honest, that was impressive. He managed the vault with just one hand. Also, I'm pretty sure this counts as breaking and entering if we had to vault the fence to get into it, regardless of delivering a pizza or not. I have a stealth. Oh, so uh, let me give me a second, everyone. I'm just gonna shimmy myself over to. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block the sprint a little bit. But you can still see it, kind of. But yeah, I have a stealth option as well. So we are Metal Gear Solid up in this game. For sure. If we all know it's one thing that I love. It's definitely games where I had to be slow, methodical, and quiet. Because I've, I've already ex I've already ex used up my... Oh, there you go. There's the house. I've already used up my sprint bar like 10 times. In just this part of the game. Oh, flashlight. It's locked shut. So just leave the pizza and go home. There's a note here. Door locked. Please use side door. Huh. Weird. Oh, screw that. Screw that. I'm putting the pizza down. I'm going to text message them and say, Hey, your uh, your food's outside. And you're going to be happy about it because social distancing. That's literally what I do every time I order food for delivery. I go, leave the food outside. The dog will let me know it's here. Side door. House doesn't look that big. Can't be that spooky, right? Okay. Open door. Uh, it's a flashlight. Yep, you know that. Okay, so this is to leave. Um, yeah, this is um, 
This, this ain't getting delivered. This is just, I'm leaving. The door handle's missing. Cool. So we're trapped. Rad. So it's weird because you click on things to uh, use items or doors or whatnot. And then you have to hit E to continue the the uh, talk. Hello, pizza delivery. Where is everyone? Dude, we're in a basement. Are you, what's that smell? It smells rotten. I should just leave this pizza and go. Okay, well, we already know that's not happening through the same door we came through. Ooh, drawers. Freaking love drawers. They have nothing in them. Just a bunch of garbage. Okay, so, somebody's learning how to make stars, apparently. This, this is their first attempt. Second attempt got a lot better. Still a little off-center, but it's fine. Not going to judge you for your off-centered stars. Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Over here, we have... Dark, spooky area. What's, what's this? Okay. I'm going to be honest. This basement could be pretty nice. This would be a nice basement for, like... I mean, there's, there's separate rooms, so you could, like... Hey, this is the game room. This is, like, the craft room. It's bougie as hell. Okay, I thought I heard something. Door's locked. Okay, and then just the dark hallway of nothing. Got it. And a baby crib. Just in your basement. That's that's fine and dandy, I guess. What do we got up here? Where is it? We got a cutscene. Got ourselves a cutscene? Ugh, my head. What happened? Where am I? I need to get out of here. It's an old wardrobe. It's sealed shut. Okay, well, good, good, good try from me. Inventory empty. It's a flashlight. Okay, well, that's cool. They stole my flashlight. That thing cost me like four dollars. How dare you? Old mattress. A disgusting wet mattress. I hope... Did, did we make it wet? We could have made it wet. For anyone reading this, be careful. She can hear you. I don't know where I am or who she is, but I know she will kill you. When she left, I searched for a while. I left some wire cutters in a small closet on the top level. Maybe you'll find it useful. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. I miss my family. I miss everyone. Why did I take that stupid job? It's just an ordinary bedside table. Wait a minute. Something behind us. Ah, some vents. Okay. Can I, can I go out this door? Door's locked. Okay, nope, that's fine. That makes sense. Oh, there's my flashlight. Hey, there you are. You wrap a scally in ya. There we go. They said they left it on the top of the closet. Oh, missing people reports, it looks like. Hopefully we are... We're, not hopefully, but we're probably going to join them. They said it was on the top shelf of the closet. It's sealed shut. How do I... Dirty mattresses. Pile of dirty old mattresses. Okay, gl glad, glad I read that. Oh, turn out. You must pay for what he has done to our family. The only way to forgive is to repent. My dear children, I'm sorry. No. Oh, okay, I thought there was going to be more to it than just that, but... Anyway, let's head out this way. I'll pop on through the vents. So this seems like it's granny style. There's a creepy doll head. A bunch of vents that I cannot go through. Oh, definitely can't go through that way. That'll probably chop my head right off. Um, okay, I could drop down there. That's an option. I do want to see what's on the other side here, though. Before I make any decisions about dropping in areas I have no idea about. Oh, wow. This is, like, this is actually a fairly large vent. Oh, and that goes nowhere. Alrighty. Can jump. Oh god, this all goes nowhere. Okay, so I have to go, I have to drop down. That's fine, that's fine. Definitely not going to be the death of me. I wonder if the game plays like Granny, where you have five tries to learn the layout of the house and the item locations. Oh, spinning fan. It's spinning too fast to pass through. Wait, so can I break this? The fan looks to be stuck. I might be able to, I might be able to actually, if I find a screwdriver, I might be able to disassemble them. Okay, so I'm basically going to stay crouched. Can I, can I hide? Can I hide? I would like to hide. Oh. Okay. Yes, I can't hide. Open, open. Hide a key. Close, close. 
crouch again. What is that sound? Oh, there's a barricade. A barricade covering the window. Oh, so I might be able to skip through that Bible verse. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke, the egg yoke, upon you, and learn from me, for I know it's an ox yoke. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, and I burn in light. Matthew 11, 28. Neat. Uh, oh, what's this? Lock the chest. Oh, I need a code for this one. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I won't find it. I did hear footsteps at one point. A little worried about that. But, oh, there's another note. Oh, it's another Bible verse. I'm not going to bother reading Bible verses. Boring. I keep hearing something walking. It's definitely footsteps. The door is locked. Okay. So, looks like a key for an attic. So how do I get back up then? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I can't go up that way for sure. Can I use the attic key? Door's locked. Nope. Oh, can't use that attic key. Uh, alrighty. Let's go back to the flashlight. Take a look around. Oh, there's another note. The Bible verse. Cool. Well, maybe I missed something, maybe? Could have missed the item. No. I'm just making a lot of noise, I realize. For no reason whatsoever. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to get myself... Old picture. What a weird picture. Okay, cool. Glad, glad, glad we commented on people's photos and, and choices. So the only option I have here is this chest. Maybe... It's probably one of these. 5346 or 1128. 5346, 1128. I'm gonna try these. 1128. There we go. Hey, rude key. All right, look at me. Maybe I did need to read the Bible verses. Didn't realize I'd be part of the puzzle at first, but I did it. Look at me, I'm learning. So good at games. Let's go ahead and equip this up. Go back to the flashlight. Hi. Creepy looking thing. Door's locked. Uh oh, is this the is this might be the attic? Yes, this is the attic. Okay, cool. Alright, so that leads me back here. So I do have an escape route, I guess. I really hope she doesn't like crawl through vents. That would be very unfortunate for me. I also don't know, like, if I can hide. Oh. Oh. So it also matters the lighting. Okay. I'm getting it now. I'm understanding a little bit better. Nothing. Okay. I'll leave the bottom drawer open so I know I checked that out already. Open, open. No, okay, nothing. This doesn't even let me interact with it. All right. She can be like, there's like red lights too. She can be like dead by daylight where you can hide from, or you can see the killers nearby with the red, uh, the red glare. Oh God, there's so many closets here. How many closets do you need? I hear footsteps very nearby. Quite, quite, quite worrisome. Okay, I think I'm all right. That leads me downstairs, which I don't know if I really want to go downstairs quite yet. There's another vent area? What does this lead to? Oh, okay, so I can loop her here. I saw the mannequin again. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. I can...
Well, that was dumb. Why did I run in here? Don't find me. Don't find me. I don't know how that worked. But, oh boy, did it. That was weird. Also, why did my dumb brain go, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely run on into there. Listen to the footsteps. Trying to be a sneaky boy. Stealth. She's definitely right below here. Oh, no. I have to go this way, don't I? Red lights around here. I hate this. This is actually like, very stressful right now. Oh. She's definitely nearby. I can hear footsteps once again. What is that? Oh no, don't turn the light on. Door's locked. I need a key. Okay, well, I don't have that key probably. She's like right on the other side of this door. Just hide. Don't come in here, lady. Okay, I think she walked by. Sounds like she's walking back that way. Oh, okay, yep, she's like patrolling. Hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. Should I... Should I follow the path that she's taking? I don't know where she went, is the problem. This is just a bunch of mattresses, awesome. And a baby crib. Great. Just what I wanted to see. So she's upstairs right now, I think. Oh! Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm trapped. Trying to light on her. Scare her. Blind her. Game over. Okay. Wow. This. You got here. Okay. So. Oh wow, I actually start here, here. That's brutal. That you have to start at the very beginning. But at least now I know, like, the general idea of what the game wants me to do. Okay. So the password was 1128. We just have to head over here. I need to equip the flashlight. Yep. Bedside table. Yep. And go ahead and push. Right. I might give this... So, if you don't know, I'm not a huge fan of grinding games because you have no idea how long you're going to be stuck playing it. And this one in particular seems very... Why did I go that way? I knew that wasn't the right way. Very pain in the ass. Due to the fact that it is... Inst why did I... Yeah, why did I go to the left? I know it was the right. Due to the fact that it is one hit KO and you restart from the beginning. At least the granny games, when you die, like all your stuff is dropped off and all the all the uh, progression you made in the house is kept. But like, I have to go through this chest again. There you go. 11, 28. Room key. Cool. And then the attic key. And we're gonna equip this up. And equip this up. Not gonna spooky me there. And the flashlight. On the plus side, it did seem like I could take a couple of hits from her. So that's cool. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Holy crap, do I gotta go. She's definitely like right around the corner there. Oh, 
Oh, there she is. Oh, she's creepy. She's definitely creepy. Yep, that's the intent for that room for sure. Not the intent there though, that's for damn sure. Okay, I made it down another level. By sheer luck and being good at games. That was honestly not very good of me. But it's fine. The game understands. Maybe if she had like red eyes or some world's best mom. Wow. <laughs> if she had like red eyes or some way I could see her in the dark, I'd feel like it's a little more fair. Is she still? She still has tomato cans that I put in the trash. I put those in the trash for a reason. Why do I feel like she's gonna come through this door? No, she stopped. So is my goal to just keep descending? It might be, actually. How many floors is this house? It did not look that big. This house did not seem that large. When I when I went to deliver the pizza. Did she did she teleport me somewhere? Vent cover, I need something to unscrew this. Okay. And then up here we have like what looks like a Fuse box. A wire. Oh, it's a wire with a little AC on it. Okay. Got it. I need something to cut this wire. And they said that the wire cutters are in the top shelf. Which is great, since, you know, I'm not on that floor anymore. Is she coming down the steps? Please don't. Please don't. Now I'm making noise again. Um, I'm in. Oh, shit. I'm actually stuck. Not only am I in the thing. Uh, game? Game? I am stuck in the corner. Okay. I got. I'm, I'm wiggling. I am wiggling as best. Oh. I have no idea how I recovered from that, but I did. Because I am a gamer! Let's go this way. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. So this room had nothing except for a trap. Oh, no, this is the stairs. They lead me back up to where I don't want to be. I already know, like, I'm gonna turn the corner and she's gonna be right there, or she's gonna turn the corner and I'm gonna be right there. Oh, this is the same room I was just in. Are there two other floors? I mean, not other floors, other floors, but like, you know what I mean. Two accesses to the same floor. The door. Oh, what's that? I got a red doll. Can I, can I offer that to her as a tribute? Be like, here you go, take the red doll and she'll leave me alone? The red doll head. Okay, that really did nothing. It appears to be some sort of code. 1432. Oh, there's someone on the other side. What's with the, what's with the goopy room? Oh God, the walls look diseased. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the concern. That the walls look diseased, not... They're literally pulsating and... Living. They're, they're diseased. Alright, we're gonna go up this way. The door handle's missing. Oh! Oh, this is where I came in at! Okay! Alright, I understand now. Kind of. Not really. Whoa, okay, that's bull. That is, that is, she didn't notice me until she turned the corner. 
Let's see, are there checkpoints? No, there's no checkpoints. I feel, so I feel like, I feel like we've pretty much reached the floors. It's more of a matter of combining them into the solution. However, as I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the grainy games. Um, it just never was my, my style. It also does not seem like things are moved around randomly, at least the first key. Um, I like the premise. It's like, I, I mean, pizza delivery is a premise that has been done before, but it works. Emily wants to play is one of my favorite games, and that is because of a pizza delivery. Overall, the, actually, I think the first one is, I know, I think the second one is as well. Like you're delivering a pizza to a police station and then you run into Emily's dolls. Really sure it is, but it, it's not my style of game, but I can see why someone would enjoy it. And this does seem fun. It's again, though, it goes off the puppet combo. Hey, if you're getting attacked, it gets loud, it gets screechy. If there was some way that you could see the mom or whoever and in in the dark so you know where she is from across the room so you can find, have a chance to hide or even if she had like a glow or something like that or she was carrying a flashlight actually that wouldn't make that would not be that great because then she would be able to see you in the dark some way to hide some and and know where she is would be favorable to me at least i mean that's my own personal preference i'm not a huge fan of these kinds of running for your life constantly kind of games but i can see why someone will like it let me know what you all thought about this game in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe to updates more updates, release new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.